Link. 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 4,000 fusings. 5,000 fusings. How do you get a bloody six link around here? Hi, Zizrin here with a new video, and I want to talk to you guys quickly about how you can get a six thing. So I'm going to cover finding any six thing, like just the easiest way to get one at the start of the league, and how to improve your odds of linking the test that you actually want to link. So, you know, manually linking. Um, so let's start covering the uh, just how to get any six thing. So obviously a Tabula Rasa and farming the Humility cards in Blood Aqueduct is, is very, very good. Uh, they have a fairly decent drop right here. I would say that this is a little bit more efficient in hardcore than softcore because in hardcore you do get a big benefit of just over leveling in blood aqueduct you might even end up as much somewhere between level 72 or 75 before you actually get a humility set so especially on softcore if you have a strong build i'd probably advise going straight to maps there are a couple of other ways to get six things as well so you can very very easily farm corrupted six things in vol side areas and by opening corrupted strong boxes so something a lot of people don't know, if you put a Sacrifice of Dusk in with a map, it'll just add 5% quantity to the map. But if you put a Sacrifice of Dusk or any of the other ones in the map device, it will open a Vile side area. And uh, if we go in here, what you can see is that found items have an 8% chance to drop corrupted in area. The highest I've seen this is 40-45%. Uh, and the chest at the end of the Ancient Catacomb has every single drop is corrupted. So this is actually a really, really good place to get corrupted six things, or you also do get a bunch of six sockets, which obviously you can vendor for jewelers and uh, those jewelers you can sell for few things. But there's a very, very big chance to get a, um, a corrupted six thing here. And the number one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can, uh, you can change the socket number and colors and links of a corrupted item. So this is especially useful for corrupted items with you can you can recolor it at the cost of Val orbs. So if this wasn't the colors I needed, I could just do play around with it. Obviously, it does help if it's uh, somewhere in the vicinity, so you don't end up using a hundred Val orbs. And they are also like pretty cheap to buy on trade. Same with corrupted strong boxes. If you do get the sextant uh, that says something like strong boxes are corrupted, then that's a really really good time to use. Like especially if you have infused ambush then uh, that, that's also a good way of just farming Divine Orbs or just usable six things. There's a new thing here in Ritual League or with this expansion that is really, really strong for six things, and that is the Exotic Goods in Turn's End. So if you have, especially if you have both Exotic Goods and the Right Migration, just while farming your bestiary missions here, you get a, a large amount of six things. Um, I think I've done around 150 maps in this area, and I've had between 12 and 20 uncorrupted six things and most of them have been tests if you are doing tier 16 maps they will drop item level 85 six things because they're only dropping from the invasion monster and they're obviously plus two level so really really cool have had quite a lot of six things from that i did have a dry streak of like 80 maps where i didn't get any and then i had like three maps where i got three six things in a row so obviously a little bit rng involved there um there are other divination cards as well there are actually quite a lot amount of uh, six link divination cards but the best one to farm is the dapper prodigy which drops in residence but residence is a really really good map it's not a particularly good layout and if you are farming for divination cards applying incursion they have so many more monsters and there's a lot of blue monsters there and it just really really does increase the chance of dropping div cards so i would encourage farming with uh, incursion there is one other div card that is very, very farmable as well, and this is specifically applicable to bow builds, and this is the Imperial Legacy card. Drops basically in everything like Desert Dunes, every like sandy layout. Uh, it's 22 cards required, and you can also farm that here in the Vestiri Desert. It'll take you a few hours, so that is worth doing. Doing Legion, uh, and Legion as much as you can, and looking especially for the Incubator ones. They're, they do drop a large amount of the Geomancers Incubator, so that's actually a pretty good... Um, uh, place to get them and another thing is the beasts there are several six sync beasts uh, the most common one is basically create an item any rare six thing uh, there is no beast that will let you six sync an item you have it'll always create a new item and it is fairly common 
and that can drop as early as uh, Blood Aqueduct is like the first time I've had a Six Link Beast. And there are manual ways to Six Link as well, and you can get better odds. Not everybody knows this, but if you look at either the Orb of Fusing or, or, or Jeweler Orb, you see the item's quality increases the chance of obtaining more sockets. So there's a couple of ways to get higher quality. Some of them are for before you start crafting on the item. So say I'm uh, gonna do an item level 85 Crusader chest and I want a 6 in kit, then I want to try to get that to at least 28 or 30 base quality using perfect fossils. You can also get Hillock. Uh, if you have Hillock on uh, fortification, he will give uh, 24, 26 or 28 quality. Uh, to an armor piece, depending on uh, what level he is, and the same uh, on transportation to a weapon. So this is really, really good for items that are unique or items that are um, already crafted and you want to six sync them, because obviously the perfect fossil will reroll the item. Also, do remember that you can craft quality, and that also helps with the uh, with six syncing. So the max quality you can get on an item is forty eight. And they'll save you like 300 fusings, I think, on average. Uh, whenever there's been like large batch done, batch testing of this. So yeah, save you between two and 400 fusings on average. Now, do remember that it can very, very easily take you up to... Uh, the most I've ever used is like 6,800 fusings on a 28 quality chevron's wrappings. But, you know, that's bound to happen when you six sync as many items as I do. I usually never go for the... Um, for the six link uh, here for 1,500 fusings. I generally never go for that. That's sometimes useful in races or if you're only going to six link one item per league. But if you're going to be six link two or three, then it's pretty much always worth to go for the fusings. Because it is in your uh, advantage even if you can get unlucky. So, just wanted to make this quick video uh, talking about links. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are enjoying Ritual League. I stream on Twitch every day. Tell me if you like the video. And more importantly, try to die less than I do.